Folks, I'd like to introduce you to the Moais, a little two-way speaker that's probably my best performing design to date. Um, it has a little three-inch Dayton Audio PC83 8-ohm driver and a Tectonic BMR uh, driver I'm using for the tweeter, which has really wide dispersion, uh, which helps these little small bookshelves sound bigger than they are. It is ported with a box tuned to uh, 53 hertz here. And again, nice surprise and performance out of a budget speaker like this. You're looking at roughly uh, $112 in drivers and parts. Um, I kept the the back panel removable so I can switch out parts as needed. And again, very smooth performance for this budget design. Real quickly, just going over some of the REW um, measurements here. Uh, here is near field, just about uh, two millimeters in front of each driver. Uh, the tweeter response was nice and smooth, except for a little dig out here. I think it's because of this BMR does have a rubber surround on both sides. And I think we're getting a little bit of cancellation probably off that rubber surround at, at nine kilohertz there. Uh, the woofer, uh, response there again pretty smooth here and this is at the the port tuning here at the port level there but overall uh, a pretty well balanced kind of uh, response the combined response together um, the, again looks very linear there is a little bit of a dig out right around 800 and I think another um, little uh, near the top here around 8k but overall, a, a pretty linear response. Um, here's the extended shelf for the base and, and port right here. It does drop a little bit, but these are pretty small boxes, so that doesn't surprise me. But it does extend down to about 52 hertz there. Um, overall, the woofer is about 2 dB lower than the, the tweeter level. And I did try different crossover uh, values and even tried an L pad on the... Um, on the tweeter and when I L pad padded the tweeter down a couple of decibels, it took so much life out of the music uh, and also put a big dip at the crossover region, which is uh, 1500 Hertz here. So, so I kind of left the, um, the L pad out and just left it with simple second order on the woofer and a second order um, high pass on the tweeter. The impedance, again, looks a little wonky. It's a 4-ohm uh, tweeter, so it dips a little bit low here. Um, you can see the port tuning, actually. It was right on the money with about uh, 52 hertz. Um, there is some squiggly line here. I'm not quite sure whether that's cabinet residence or something else, but I know that's not necessarily a good thing. Um, I'll try and follow up on that a little bit later. And the, the overall phase of the, the box looks um, pretty good. The off axis, again, the BMR, it's magic is it's supposed to have really good off axis. And um, again, here's the on axis, the top trace, and almost on top of it is 15 degrees off, and then 30, and then 45 degrees off. It kind of uh, trails pretty consistently across the range, a little bit more wonky. Um, up above 10k but overall um, it, it holds together really nice um, even did little magnetic grills on here to kind of give it a little finishing touch that, that turned out okay and um, again the overall performance is quite surprising um, I will include a, a few music demos at the end as usual uh, with the slideshow of the assembly um, it'd be um, best if you listen with headphones. It gives you a little taste of, uh, of what they sound like. But overall, I'm really pleased with the, their performance. Mm -hmm.